welcome back to another collector's discussion. Today we have some in art news regarding the Batman, Robert Pattinson. Uh, I I thought this figure was pretty much done and dusted and just waiting to get uh, sent out basically for the release date. I had no idea they were intentionally wanting to do more updates on this. Uh, there's photos of an updated sculpt and the cape has been uh, rectified to a more accurate length to the movie. Uh, so yeah, it looks like they've really put their heart and soul into this and uh, again, it's a pretty shocking update just because I thought they didn't need to do any more. I thought they uh, completed the set. I didn't really expect this. But yeah, it's a nice addition that Inart have done the extra mile and constantly show the updates that they've given us. So we'll get pretty much into it right now. If you guys do enjoy this, make sure you like and sub. I'll pull the pictures up and we'll get right into them. So we've got the photos here and there's a fair bit of them. Uh, what I also like is they showed the rooted hair and the sculpted hair updates. I like that they showed both variations. So you can see the perspective from the differences between the sculpted and rooted because obviously you got the rooted hair here and it does elevate that likeness just a touch more. But also they're not afraid to show the sculpted hair too. So I really like when uh, companies do this and in art are no exception because they've showed all the versions. Uh, just for people that don't know, I'm buying the three in one. So Bruce in the suit, the Batman and the signal. So I'm really, really excited to get this. Uh, this was probably my most anticipated superhero movie since The Dark Knight. Uh, again, I haven't been the biggest fan of superhero movies. Uh, this kind of was a nice refresh take, which went all the way back to the noir detective, kind of like Seven and Zodiac. So again, I, I love this movie and yeah, I'm really excited to get this pack. And I think the updates are really, really good. Like, even the ones here, the before ones, were leagues better than the Hot Toys version. I thought this was pretty good. Uh, but looking at, in comparison to this one, yeah, this one looks really, really nice. Uh, this one's more, it, it's way more accurate. Like, I, I'm gonna straight up say it, it's way more accurate to Patterson's look in the movie. Uh, this one's probably way too angular. Uh, it, it's kind of like... They both look like Pattinson, but this one almost looks like the filters that people put to make their jaw more chiseled. Uh, this one looks much more natural of a head, basically. And yeah, this looks way more like Pattinson. Although I will say, I think... The hair might be a little bit better here. Maybe it's just different angles because this head sculpt's tilted down a bit. I feel this hair sculpt, oh uh, sorry, the rooted, this is the rooted hair. I feel this one's probably positioned a bit better because this would look like he's just taken the cow off and he's drenched in sweat. This one still looks messy, but I don't know, something about this hair here looks a bit better. So maybe, I'm sure it's probably not difficult to style the rooted hair like this. But overall, I'm not fussed. I mean, I'm as much as I like that uh, unmasked head sculpt, I'm probably not even going to use it. Uh, I think they did say on the listing that they come with head sculpt stands. I'll probably just pop the head sculpts on the actual stands and do that. So, much like the photo before, this is the sculpted version now. Uh, and again, I love that they've showed both versions. And much like the in art Joker that is starting to come to people, hopefully mine comes around soon. Uh, I know I'm from Australia, so I'm going to get it maybe, uh, maybe end of this month, next month. We're always late to everything, so... You know, I'm still waiting for mine. But much like the in art Joker... This looks just as good as the rooted hair, and for people that are a bit 
nervous uh, and unfamiliar with rooted hair this is much this is just as good like I would not be upset to get this one and again if you're like me and not even gonna put the have this <laughs> displayed it's probably best to just get the sculpted hair at the end of the day uh, I'm just mental when it comes to buying the best of the best so I'm probably gonna do that but again if you're gonna just have Batman in the cowl you're not gonna display this it's probably just best to get this version because this looks just as serviceable and yeah you can see this is much more filterish you know and this looks more actually like a person uh, and yeah, it's strange, isn't it? Because when I saw this one next to the Hot Toys version, I really, really preferred the InArt version better. But now, InArt have updated their own sculpt and made this one look inferior. It's kind of weird. Maybe Hot Toys might uh, come and fight back and maybe update theirs a bit more. Maybe not, because they might be too loaded with stuff, but... That would be pretty insane because there was a time where they were kind of having like a Batman war where one day in art will update then Hot Toys then Hot Toys will fix a bit of the suit then in art will come back like maybe Hot Toys push strike again it'll be interesting to see so this is the Bruce Wayne set with the sculpted hair and yet yeah, again this was probably a negative I had where InArt did say they were going to fix it and they have here but yeah the biggest negative was probably the Bruce Wayne sculpt and now you can say that it has been updated and I think for the better uh, the hair sculpt also looks different yeah because it looks like it's tucked a bit behind his ears here and I don't really see that here this almost looks like a bowl cut where this is actually probably correctly depicting the scene. And yeah, I, I love that they're given the real fur coat as well. Suited figures of all are always really nice when they're when they're nailed hundred percent like this. Uh you know, they're really standout pieces. Like I got uh the video calling on from Godfather from Hot Toys. I've got the Enterbay Scarface, you know. Suited figures like that are, are awesome and especially when the tailoring's nailed really good. It is a really standout thing. So again, same thing but the rooted hair. It's almost... Come to think of it. I don't know if it's just the angle of the before shot of the sculpted heads. But doesn't it look like two different head sculpts? I'm talking about the, the before head sculpt here. So this is the before rooted. And this is the before sculpted. It almost looks like two head sculpts. That's weird. Maybe it's just the angling. Yeah, it might be just the angling. But, it, you know, this is, yeah, much... Better upgrade, in my opinion. Yeah, I'm just really excited to get this. Which is weird, because you wouldn't think that a suited Bruce Wayne I would give a shit about. But, again, when the suited figures are done right, they really, really stand out, in my opinion. Uh, I'm interested to see what they do with the bail. Uh, that might be a different ball game for me, because I don't know if I would get a Bruce Wayne Christian bail. Mainly for two reasons. One... I, I'd want Batman and the inner Joker together in a detail. So if I get Bruce Wayne, I'm not going to put Bruce Wayne with them. I'll rather Batman and Joker and that's it. Uh, that's my first reason. And then the second reason is I'm getting the iconic studios, Patrick Bateman, which is basically Christian Bale in a suit. So I'm going to have two Bale figures in a suit looking pretty identical so i don't know if i want to have that many bales in a suit that's just my weird head cannon i guess but for this version of bruce wayne i really liked the depiction of this version of the more 
grungier, upset Bruce Wayne. And again, I don't think we're going to get any other characters from this movie. I don't think we will get a Riddler or a Catwoman. And in a D12, having this version of Bruce Wayne and Batman and the Bat Signal, I think is really nice as a full complementary piece. Uh, because you can say he was his worst enemy in this movie. Uh, and that's probably the way I'm going to display it. So now you've got basically the full suit. This is pretty much the way I'm going to pose mine. There's a really, really neat behind the scenes uh, photo of Matt Reeves kind of talking to Pattinson in the suit. And he's kind of got his head tilted like this where you can't see his eyes. And it looks really, really scary. I'm probably going to do this pose as well because this is pretty iconic where he's just hunched over and walking. And the update on the cape is really nice too. It kind of bellows in too, which is accurate. Uh, it's not like Bale or even uh, Affleck where it's a straight cape. This is kind of a bellowing in. So it's longer in the middle. So that's nice that they got that accurate. Again, I've already singed enough praise to the suit with my other uh, breakdowns. I'll link them down as well because, again, I'll, I'll go more in depth because there's more photos to do that with. But yeah, I just love this suit and I really love the way Inna have portrayed it. What is also interesting is Hot Toys released the 89 uh, Keating Batman and... It's almost similar suit to this, also to the Dark Knight suit, where it's a fabric suit with plates overlaid on top. Uh, I would also be interested to see what Inart would do to an 89 bat suit, because the bat suit from that version of the movie wasn't a rubber suit like Hot Toys did. So it was much similar to this, where it's fabric with appliances glued on top I don't know if uh, in art would even do 89 but wishful thinking I guess but yeah I'm really really excited for this this is like when was this getting released mid June to August I think so it's not that far of a wait and What's interesting is, this is coming before the Hot Toys one, and I think this was announced after the Hot Toys one, so... I don't know how much this would taint the Hot Toys one, because it... Let's be real, the Hot Toys one is cheaper than the all-in pack of this version, but I think... From what I'm seeing, and what a lot of people are seeing from here, this is probably the best version of this suit. And... That's the way I'm going to collect now. I'm going to get the best version. If I need to pay a bit more, so be it. I don't buy a lot of shit anymore. Uh, and especially with Hot Toys. Hot Toys is more on the Marvel and Star Wars side. I don't collect either of them. So, you know, the sacrifice of not buying Star Wars or Marvel. I save that money and buy stuff that I generally do love, which is this. And yeah. But overall, I'm really, really excited and happy that they did these updates. And I really love the communication that InArt are doing. Obviously, if you're in the statue game, you would know and be familiar with Queen and how transparent they can be sometimes with communicating to their art collectors. But I love that they're doing it now with also their figure formats. So yeah, I'm overall really, really excited for this. And yeah, that's pretty much it for today. If you guys did enjoy this, make sure you like and sub. And I'll see you in the next one.